Welcome back to Dogs Hot Shop and Forge. Today, as the fire bands continue, we are going to be making a camera swing slash boom arm that we're going to mount near the anvil that will give me increased options for how I shoot whilst at the anvil. This boom arm will have a Manfrotto ball head mounted on it uh, because I like their quick change mounting plates. Um, to make this boom arm we'll be using some telescoping black iron pipe and some 20 millimeter square hollow section. So let's go and have a look at the design that I've come up with and we'll take it from there. So to make this swing arm, the design for which I've doodled out here, as you can see what I've drawn up is quite a long swing arm, it's about a meter of reach. Um, so it'll have at the wall mount around about 270 degrees of motion because it's mounted on a corner. The elbow will have almost 360 degrees, um, not in a continuous swing, but it'll swing back on itself quite significantly. As will the actual camera head mount area will also have near the same swing. Um, so the only question is how much flex will it have and how much vibration dampening we'll have to figure out. In addition to those horizontal movement right, uh, range or freedom. It will also be able to rise up and down on the wall by about half a meter or so, which is going to give quite a good degree of freedom of movement. Some of the materials here, so let's get started. Here we have our first trial fit up. So that's the pivot on the wall axis, central hinge elbow, and out here is where the camera will be. It's all hingeable, movable. Uh, so it's just a matter of notching these for the weldments and then teeing all that up. And putting a locking screw on here lock screw here to hold that so we can uh, on one of these to set the, that angle so we don't have it drifting and a similar one but that one will go in the middle because that hinge pin will have at the top here will have the the plate for the ball head attached so before we start welding all the bits together I have to put in a couple of set screws so we can lock things into position when we've adjusted for a given shooting angle. So I'll be drilling and tapping for M6. Um, so let's get on with that and then we'll get to sticking more things together like this. Alright, so we're just going to center punch quickly. Alright, so we're just drilling the pilot hole at the moment. Alright, safety glasses are on us. I have to hope that two and a bit turns is going to provide sufficient strength. I mean, these aren't holding a lot of vertical load. They're just holding a torsional load. This one, though, is carrying a vertical load, but it's also got some vertical torque on it, which should, I hope, help lock it in place. Alright, so that's that job done. 
So I'm just going to notch this pipe just a little bit, or decrease the actual distance between this metal and the pipe so that the welding doesn't have to bridge too much. So there we have the trial fitter. Everything fits. Everything that should move moves. So it's kind of cool that it actually came together pretty well. Um, the concern is here I might have to put a bit of webbing in uh, to span the hinge point. Uh, but I'll leave that to a little bit later till I've had an actual go at using it. See how it works. So there we have it. Now it just needs to be put on the wall. So our video range goes from this to this to this to this. even allows filling into the forge if I need to. So it's pretty cool. It's quite a large range. Holds the weight well. So there we have it. A boom arm for the forge which will allow me to get sort of 270 degrees worth of motion around that corner near the anvil quite an adjustment in height and probably close to 300 odd degrees motion at the elbow plus whatever motions at the actual um, under the the ball head itself plus the ball head so it's a very versatile addition it allows even reaching over to film inside the forge at the level of the anvil uh, I could potentially probably even use it for filming these um, intros and exits. And it was a relatively simple construction project. Um, seems to perform reasonably well. So the next thing is, once this fire band is lifted, is to give it a test for actual recording the forge work. I've tried a few new things in this video, so if you've enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, I highly recommend it. I'd be very grateful. We're coming up on 500 subscribers, so we'll be running a giveaway at that point. So there's a benefit to subscribing. And as always, get out to your shop, have fun, but do stay safe. And I'll catch you for the next one. Far away from the anvils that will go. So I can film at this level. Um, Shall ask for good close-ups. Um, can it sneak past? No, it cannot. Okay, so that's a little bit of an oversight on my part. I can't sneak it past the angle and its lowest position. Not bad otherwise.